What is the crack YouTubes? Welcome to week two's update of the Big Macs building competition. Oh, I'm building along with you guys and what I've got so far is just a bare mock-up So what we'll do is we'll look at what I've been up to or my lack of progress and then we'll have a look at the entry so far So what I've been up to is mostly mucking around. I still have the engine block or I'm building a grot tank, so I'm thinking I'll mount it in the back Sideways something like that eventually. I'm just messing around with blue tack and dice I'm a bit undecided about what I want to do, but I'll have the turret. This will be the turret ring here. And I'll build a turret up above it here. And this is what's like the front of the glacis and stuff like that. I've been mucking around with some tools I bought a while ago. So I've been trying to cut out all these little tiny circles with a circle cutter. That I bought in a hobby store in Paris, I think. Uh, I think it's for papercraft or whatever. But it's pretty handy. This thing's pretty cool. It's got a blade on one part. And it's a it's like a compass type thing, so it's pretty that's pretty handy. Between this circular cutter and then the tube cutter, I'll be making the running gear. So I'll get like two discs, and I'll put like a piece of pipe in between, and I'll make the the running gear. But that's gonna take an awful lot of time because it'll take a few of them. But in general, at this stage, I'm just tr trying to get a rough shape. I want to have something that looks a bit like a KV one tank if you've ever seen it, um, or a KV two. Just a gruff version with a big chunky engine sticking out the back. So that's my plan so far. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at the entries now that people have thrown in currently. And so first up we have Castman and his build for his Rebel Gruts. Looks like he's he's building a a logo for his Rebel Gruts. So this is Castman's build, his entry for the competition. I do believe he's finished up on the project. I, I could be incorrect, but it's nice use of some parts. There are some original parts in there. Nice conversion. Like I've said before, Gorkamorka vehicles are welcome into the competition build. Next up we have Clarkson. Clarkson has gotten himself a Torox. And he's converted it pretty much. So we've got all manner of gubbins and bits and gizmos. The wheels have been changed. Exhaust sticking out of everywhere and a nice big cannon on the back so that's clarkson's entry into the competition nice 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 kit bash he's got going there next up we have gar gar has kit bashed and scratch built so you can see he's used the um, the battle wagon rear tracks and he's got a the artillery piece sticking up on the back i like gar's concept for this build as it uh, it could it could be a grot tank because it's like sort of self uh, propelled artillery, but you could also probably use it as a one of the big mech guns, one of the artillery pieces, and just say that it's tracked. So I like I like this concept. Gary's done some kick ass work, and he's even managed to get a bit of paint onto the miniature. Gary does some nice painting. Like I've said before, guys, this is a building competition. You do not have to paint it, but it does look pretty sweet. Next up we have Gorkalis. He's built a buggy with some super engines on it. It is pretty slick looking. Between the intake and there's just so much going on here, like <laughs> um rockets. Yeah man, it's proper like it looks dangerous and it looks fast, so he he can't go wrong at all. That's that's Gorkalis' entry. That's it's looking pretty sweet. We have some work here from hands. Uh, Hans was working on his truck and he decided to add a trailer to it. Uh, like I said in the competition, it's a small vehicle competition, so we'll judge Hans on his truck or or his trailer, whichever he wants, but to, together combined they'd be too big. So we'll ask Hans what he'd like to be judged on, his trailer or the truck itself. He's been busy with glyphs. I'm sure some of you old school gits would be out there can translate uh, the glyphs. As to what he's uh he's writing there for his truck, but that's what Hans is up to. Like I said, we'll have to ask Hans what he wants to be judged on, the trailer or the truck. As both are a bit big. We have next up we have Maddie Cools. Maddie Cools has built a kick-ass dread. There's a lot of scratch building involved here. I do believe the core of it, the front part, 
is uh, one of the objective markers, one of the escape pods. So it's it's very original. I, I personally haven't seen this type of thing used before, this type of conversion, which is interesting. You get some great ideas, uh, seeing what other people get up to. And that's the whole point of the building competition is to get new ideas, get new builds going. You scratch built the legs. He's got extensive use of various bits and bobs and parts. And I'm looking at that reactor he's got on the back there. So that's the entry from Matty Cools. We have next up Mork and Gork. And he's pretty much scratch built a whole vehicle. Uh, I think he's called this like his Wiggle Tooth Loof or something like that. It's sort of uh, his take on, on My Little Pony. Um, but he's put a lot of work into it. Like there's a lot of green stuff work you can see here. The amount of detail on the plastic card is really impressive as well. He's added like a little gubbinsy bit on the back for, for boosters and uh, some sculpting so you can see what he's been up to that's it's very original i'll give him that much it's very original i haven't seen uh there isn't an another entry anything like it and there's a lot of work being put into it just look at those side tracks there those track units there's an awful lot of small detail work being put into this build which is very impressive we have pale green git who's been Gathering his bits and bobs and his gubbins. Um, built a claw so far. So I think he's going for a small sort of similar type of build. And he's he's gathered his bits and gubbins. Like I said, we're going into week three now. So it's not too late to even join in. You know, you can take your, your time. As you can see from the progress on my build, it's, it's taken a while. But yeah, take your time. You don't have to rush through this. Some of these gets built really fast. Um, but don't worry, there's still plenty of time. Next up we have Rust Crush. He has built himself a Dread of Sorts. I remember him specifically posting that he wasn't happy with the, the gob on this one, so he tore it off and repositioned it. And it looks rather impressive, I have to say. As he's got some nice work going on, especially the teeth. Those are looking swank. Progress is coming along nicely, so that was Rust Crush's entry. Then we have Squig Boss, who's built and painted his entry like i said folks you don't have to paint your entry but there's nothing you know what i mean there's no there's no problem with doing it it would be based on his uh building i do have other pics of his progress i just didn't grab them at this moment in time but that's rust or uh squig boss my my apologies so many entries this is a uh, squig boss's uh entry into the building competition it looks pretty swank i have to say i'm liking the armored slits the radiator intake and also the cab that he's got there some very original builds going on a lot of concepts and ideas and then last update for this week we have the war boss this has also been painted up really you get work so goddamn quick put me to shame here it's a nice build he's got going on i like the use of his um tourist that he's got on the top of the vehicle the uh gorkonaut slash morkonaut head uh, with a las cannon jabbed in the back of it and a faceplate it looks yeah it looks pretty swank it's a, it's a really good build like i said nice paint job but you do not have to paint up the miniatures it is a building competition my apologies if i've missed your entry so far uh, feel free to give me a shout in the youtube comments there will be an update on week three it is still not too late to enter guys so like I was saying, it's still not too late to enter. There's going to be a link in the description of this video below to the Discord group where there is the Big Mac build-off thread. So if you're entering into the competition, throw your entries into that thread. Uh, try and keep it just for entries only. There are other channels in the Discord if you want to chat to guys and you want to show other projects and works in progress. There are other channels for that. Just try and keep the Big Mac build-off just for Big Mac build-off entries. But there's other guys in there. We've got a solid group of people now and it keeps growing every day. Um, throwing ideas around, inspiration, chatting away. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to week three. There's quite a, quite a few entries. I think we're up to like 11 or 12 and it keeps counting. So it'll definitely be very interesting to see what the, the end of the Big Mac build competition is. And then hopefully we'll steamroll it into something bigger in the next building competition. So that's week two's update. Sorry about the delay. Uh, and I'll probably see you in the week 3 update. So it's not too late to join. Links are in the description below. And uh, I will throw up a link to 
Stevo's build. He's got a um, he's got a video he's put up. He's not entering into the competition itself because you know we're we're buds. There might be some shenanigans there that people would be wary of if he did win. But his build is really good. So I'll throw up um, a card so you can link to his video if you want to have a look at his entry. He's put a video up for his Death Dread, which is looking really swank. Nice kit bash he's got going on there. And if I've missed your entry, give me a shout in the comments below. Or give me a shout in the Discord and we'll put you into the week three. There's still plenty of time to get building, guys. Still plenty of time to buy your bits and bobs. Remember, we still have the discount code with Foxbox up until the end of the competition. If you use discount code Scarnier for any of the Foxbox brand parts, you'll get the 10% discount. So, we'll see you in week three. Thanks for, uh, like, I just want to say thanks to everyone so far. It's... It's crazy the amount of entries, the inspiration. This is exactly what I wanted out of this build competition. I wanted to see people being creative and it's it's working amazingly. I'm inspired to build stuff. I'm sure other people are getting inspired to build stuff. And we'll see who the winner is at the end. So it's not too late to enter. We're going to be posting up week three soon enough. And get building. Grab your gubbins, buy some bits. We'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.